Bennett. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer. And this is some Bad Company 2 Rush Defending Gameplay. In this video, I wanted to kind of uh, give my thoughts on um, uh, on uh, something that the developers behind the Tomb Raider reboot said under the E3 conf uh, uh, E3 presentation that they had of the game, and it also had a uh, short video with it. And one of the things that they said was that they looked at a lot of films and a lot of TV series uh, for inspiration to how how to kind of tell the story. And one thing that they said was that they looked at TV series like Dexter and True Blood to see how they did char character development over time and kind of stretching the story over multiple episodes that lasted for a longer time period. They, for example, said that while watching a movie that's, you know, one and a half hour... Uh, one hour and a half long you might cry you might laugh and go through somewhat of an emotional roller coaster through that experience uh, through that movie but in a TV series you can do that every episode every week you can cry you can laugh and you get a story that's told over a much longer period of time not only in like real life time but also in just pure minutes of pure um, video content if you will and storytelling and I think that's kind of um it's it's a really good point just the fact to say that you know what movies may be a somewhat of good inspiration on games I'm not, I'm not sure that it all that it always is but it might be in some cases. Um, I, I would say take something like Uncharted, the Uncharted series, which is very much like a uh, action movie kind of with a story of an, an advent adventurer, very much like a Tomb Raider, really, and has a lot of action in it, and it makes for a great experience over a longer period of time um, but you can lend you can lend a lot of things from TV series where you have character development that goes over a longer period of time you have a story that's unfolded bit by bit and kind of teasing what's next uh, next to come and I believe that a lot of games can really learn from that and learn from TV series that how to kind of make the player interested in the characters and the story uh, without uh, a lot of games today don't necessarily have a good story or a very good way to tell it one example that comes to mind right away when it comes to bad storytelling is Infinity Ward the first games were awesome but since you know, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, I can't keep track of what the hell is happening. I mean, shit is happening, I'm shooting a lot of dudes, there's something about a nuclear missing being launched, suddenly they're attacking the United States, I'm mowing down people in an airport and then getting shot, I don't know why I did that, why I didn't just shoot the guys that I'm walking with. I have no clue what's going on in the Modern Warfare uh, storyline. No idea whatsoever. I'm I'm being totally honest here, guys. Um, and that's just bad storytelling. I'm sure that Infinity Infinity Ward has some kind of a plot and epic storyline that they are following, but I have no idea what the hell is happening. And I think that they can learn from TV series because let's face it, Modern Warfare, the Modern Warfare games. Is very much like a Michael Bay movie. There's a lot of big explosions and epic moments, but I can't get the hang of the story whatsoever. But a lot of TV series, or really good TV series, don't necessarily have the action bits. Take Dexter, for example, which also was mentioned by the developers of the new Tomb Raider. 
Dexter isn't necessarily an action uh, TV series. There's not a lot of action, really. But what there's a lot of is character development and kind of exploring uh, Dexter himself, uh, some of the things around Dexter, and also... Um, how should I put it? Exploring just the kind of unfolding the story. That's more what I'm looking for. Unfolding the story around Dexter and what happens to that character. And I think that some games could really um, get a get a better. Um, how should I put it? Uh, it? They could become better games by looking at TV shows. And just to kind of round it up here, guys, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that getting inspiration from a TV show could be a good thing for a lot of games? Oh, or is the kind of movie influence that we have now good enough? Or should games just really strive to be something completely different that has nothing to do with Hollywood and TV production to, to do whatsoever? That games should really go their own route and really just do something completely different and really just take a stand uh, take a stand and say you know what we're not movies we're not TV shows we are not whatever we are games we're something of our own we're gonna you know make our own path choose our own road so tell me what you think guys in the comments below I do actually read them, and I do try to respond to those uh, that I feel um, needs responding. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Snackers.